Hi, welcome back to ODE YouTube channel. Today I'm here a pack I have here a package that I received from Fontoplumo with another Caveco. This one is an exclusive one for their anniversary, and so I will open it today and make a review later. And let's see. So I have my Victorinox knife here. I'll just cut these in any kind of way, it doesn't really matter. And let's take this out. Here it is. And we have the package, and I think I don't need the knife anymore. We can open this this way. Maybe this is lots of noise, but... And now we have the little card from Fontoplumo and that's it and so we have this plastic bag and we will have two pens inside and we have two stickers and two little booklets so as regular thing and so here it is the your Caveco chocolate fountain pens, regards Frank, and this is Fontoplumo store. So, let's see how they look. I will make a more detailed review later, this is just to show you how they look. So, here we have it, this is, it's called Classic Brown for Fontoplumo, and this is the other one. So there are two versions of the same pen and this is the Skyline Brown and it means that one is brown with silver trim and the other is brown with gold trim. So this is how they look. One is the Skyline Sport, one that has silver or chrome trim, and the other one is a Classic Sport. So, I will just bring the camera down and I'll try to do the best I can, or the more different, different thing that I can make in my videos, which is show you color comparisons. So, let me just bring the camera down. And here I am again, so we have the two pens here, so one will have this in silver, as I told you, the other one will have this in gold. They both say Cavec Sport in one of the eight facets, and on the opposite facet they both say Fontoplumo. So this is the branding of the store. They are called Skyline Sport Brown, Skyline um, Classic Sport Brown for this one. But uh, the store themselves, they were inspired in milk chocolate, so they call it Cavex Sport Chocolate Gold and Chocolate Silver. So this is the names by the store. Here we have the regular Cavex nibs. I chose both to be fine when Frank contacted me about sending me these pens. I'm very thankful for having these, so thank you a lot for sending me these pens. And so now let's go for that color comparison. Let me bring the light a little closer. It's always very hard to clearly or to uh, accurately reproduce colors on camera, but I'll try to do it uh, as best as I can. At least if you have any of the other brownish pens that I'm showing you, you'll be able to have an idea of what color this is. So let me just keep one of them here, because the color is the same between the two pens. They are these uh, plain facets, this time they are not any guilloche uh, uh, engraving. And let me show you the other pens of the same, which I consider which that is a similar color family. So the first one I have here 
is the Caveco Tracking Sport. This is a... no, let's go first for another thing. Let me just show you other previous editions that were exclusive for uh, Fonto Plumo. And I have here three exclusive editions. The first one is the Mocha, which was also released in Australia by another store and it was called Caramel. So this is the Mocha, classic sport Mocha by Fontoplume. At this time they did not put any branding of the store. Then we had the Caveco Sport, this one, the, um, the yellow edition, one was called Sun Rise, which was the Skyline Sport, and the Sunset, which was the, the classic sport. And we also have the Coral Color, that was also available in uh, Gold and Chrome Trim. And this one had some guilloche or guilloche pattern engraved in alternate facets and also on the barrel. So these were special or exclusive editions for Fonto Plumo that were made uh, before. Now let's go on for what I was going to do uh, to show you the color, the similar family color comparison. So we have the Caveco Tracking Sport, which was a very what well, it was a much older edition of Caveco. This is very hard to find, but this one is kind of a mustard color, not similar with the new chocolate one at all. Then we have the Caveco. Art Sport Milk and Coffee, which is a very light brown color. We also have the Macchiato, and which was the Skyline Sport Macchiato, and the Dark Macchiato, which was a classic sport with the black barrel, and it was an exclusive for Most Wanted Pants. So here you have the other color, which is very different from this. Then I want to show you the Caveco Classic Sport Cream, which looks almost white sometimes on camera, but it is really of cream color. Then I have the Caveco Classic Sport Cappuccino, which is one of the very nice ones, in my opinion, which is very similar to the Caveco uh, Art Sport Milk and Coffee. I hope this is useful somehow. Then I have the mocha, which is very hard to find. It's almost impossible to find out there. And here it is. So it is a little darker than the... Let me show you this. I can try to put them... I'll leave the other one because the color is the same. Let me try to put them here as they get darker, if this is useful for you. So, again, the Trekking Sport Dark Macchiato, but then we'll start with the Cream, the Macchiato, Cappuccino, Coffee Cream, Mocha, and Chocolate. And now I have also two more pens to show you. One is the previous chocolate version, also called Tabac or Tobacco. From it was another exclusive uh, edition for the the stationery stores that are called Tabac. And here it is. It is a very dark brown. It looks black, but it isn't. And so like it, it, it's like if this is milk chocolate and if this is really dark chocolate. And finally, I have the Golden Espresso, which is not completely comparable because this one is an AL Sport and not, uh, you can see there, and not a plastic pen. It's made of aluminium, so it has different shading, but it will go here. So. Now you can see the old browns, and I'm showing only the plain browns because there are at least two brown, uh, two other brown art sports. One is the Mambo from the 
first generation and the other one is the amber from the second generation. And so here you have, let me put the other one across here so you can see how they compare. So this is really a very different color. I know this will be interesting for some people. And finally, I have another pen, which is the Caveco Student 20s Jazz. And I think this one is an interesting one because it is also a brown pen. Although it has a white or ivory white barrel. So you have this. You can see it is darker than the Fonto Plumo chocolate. And then we have the other chocolate or the tabac and you can see the three colors are quite different so if you are thinking about the if it is close to the student it is more it's not that close it's more close to the mocha than to the student the student is more close to the older chocolate or tabac edition so i hope this kind of video is helpful for you. I will make a more detailed video, maybe I'll show you more comparisons even with other uh, brown pens from other brands. I have to say a very big thank you to Frank from Fontoplumo for sending me these two pens for review so I can show you. I will put some photos online with this uh, color comparison so you will be able to, to allow you to understand the, the differences between this color and know if this color interests to you. If you are a collector of every Cavex port available, like me, you want to have it. If you, just brown, if you just like brown pants, you should take a look at this image because the color reproduction, reproduction is quite good, I think, for what I'm seeing here on camera. And at least you have some other pens to compare. Not all of them are very common, but some are. And so you may have a good idea if this pen is what you want. So once again, thank you all for watching. Thank you, Frank, for sending me these pens. And I will make a more detailed review later. And I hope to meet you here on the channel soon. Bye.